It's time to vote for Splat for president. I was asked, what are some reasons why you should vote for me? Well, I've put together a list of things that I would like to do as your president. As your president, I will make sure that everybody reads for fun. I will work hand in hand with Mrs. Summoners to create lots of opportunities to use the library. And I will also help recognize all of the accomplishments of the readers here at Red Arrow. Look at some of these second graders and what they've accomplished already. Remember to vote for Splat for president. <laughs> Good morning, Red Arrow, and happy Wednesday. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen for lunch today. Hello, Red Arrow. I'm Miss Brink, and I am Miss Roberts. And today, on Wednesday the 9th, we are having chicken nuggets, goldfish crackers, baby carrots with dip and broccoli, peaches, and a choice of milk. We will see you soon in the lunchroom. Have a good day. Pete makes school fun a fun place to read. The library will be rocking when you vote for Pete. Pete thinks we're, per we're perfect just like these books. And we have no birthdays to celebrate today, so let's celebrate two other holidays instead. Today is National Chaos Never Dies Day and National Scrapple Day. I'm going to start with Scrapple Day because I did not know what Scrapple was. I had to look it up. So this is a picture of Scrapple. And here's another picture of Scrapple. And it is something you can eat. You notice I say you can eat, not that you do eat, because I'm not sure I would eat this. Um, it is made of scraps of pork mixed with cornmeal or flour to kind of make a loaf. And it was first eaten a lot in England, and then it was brought to the United States when we became a brand new country. So according to what I could find online, people eat this with either ketchup or syrup on top, and sometimes they mix eggs in with it. So if you're looking for something brand new to try today, you could have um, some Scrapple. I'm not quite sure where you'd find some Scrapple, but it's out there according to the internet. The other one is National Chaos Day. Now chaos, you might be wondering, what in the world does that mean? So you see a couple pictures. Uh, this is a storm or a tornado, and that's not chaos in itself, but chaos means things are going crazy and twisted upside down. Um, if I announced that it is taco bar day, but only for the first 20 kids that got to the lunchroom. It might look like chaos around here as everyone's running to get to the lunchroom. So it's kind of like things are swirling around and crazy. Um, and for some reason, I thought that was a good thing to celebrate here at school today. So whichever day you choose to celebrate, National Chaos Never Dies Day or National Scrapple Day, make it a great day. Just a few announcements today. Uh, first off, um, as you can tell from the way I'm dressed, I am not going to be at school today. Mrs. Spula, Ms. Martinez, and I are all going to teacher school up in Lansing, and so I know you guys will take good care of the building today and good care of each other today. Um, so thank you in advance for your help. Uh, let's see. Tonight is first grade math night, and uh oh, I didn't write the time down. But here's what I know. First grade teachers will make sure that you first graders know when that's happening. I want to say it's 6 to 7, but I don't know that's right, so please don't quote me. Uh, let's see. Today is also picture retake day, and that will be taking place in the library or the music room. And remember, not everyone gets pictures done today, just those who maybe didn't have it done the first time because you weren't here yet or you were absent that day, or those people whose moms or dads or adults in charge said, mm, I think I want a better picture. And so they're going to have it retaken. So not everybody gets their picture taken today. Uh, for the second graders in Miss Spangler's class, you guys are going to the troll movie today. Um, I know you'll enjoy that. Please make sure you show great behavior. Um, you're going to the South Haven Theater, or you've already went to the South Haven Theater, depending on when you get a chance to watch this. 
And I know that uh, you will make sure that they know that Red Arrow kids are safe, respectful, and responsible um, after you leave there. A reminder also that we have the Veterans Day luncheon on Friday, and that's at noon uh, in our lunchroom, our gym. And so students, in case you're wondering, what is that? Um, Friday is Veterans Day, and for those people who have served in the military or who are serving in the military, um, if they are in the area and want to come have lunch, they are welcome to do that. We're going to have hamburgers grilled out um, by Mr. Wilmer and Mr. Hines, and um, have some good foods and some desserts and things like that. And so, and I know some of you may have some veterans coming um, that you know, maybe aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, moms, dads, um, brothers, sisters, could be older brothers and sisters that are in the Army or the Navy or the Air Force or the Marines or the Coast Guard. Um, and so I asked Mrs. Glover, who's in charge of all the food stuff, and she said, students, if you have a guest coming for Veterans Day luncheon, you need to still have lunch at your normal time with your class. And then you can join your veteran and enjoy lunch or uh, like a dessert with them and that kind of thing. And so Mrs. Glover wants everyone still to take part in the regular school lunch times. And then you can join your veteran at noon also um, in the lunchroom if you've got someone coming in special uh, to join you during that time. Hope that all made sense. Uh, let's see. Is that it? Oh, well, um, we are still doing our election for Pete the Cat versus Splat the Cat. And that will take place um, all the way through Friday because Mrs. Sumners is handling that um, through the election booth in the library and wants to make sure everyone gets a chance to vote. And so I think I heard that Splat and Pete may be doing a debate. And so if so, you will see it here first, I promise. Um, and we will edit, and there will be no editing that takes place. It will simply be a televised debate. And so I'll let you know when that's available. Um, I do want to say one quick thing. Um, yesterday was the big election day in our country, and you might have had your mom or dad or other people that you know that went out and voted. And here's what happens after any election. Um, some people are happy, and some people are not as happy. They might be sad. Um, if they were on the big paper ballot and they lost, they might be sad. If the person they wanted to win didn't win, they may be sad. And if they wanted the person to win and they did, they may be very happy. But here's what I know. Here's our job at school. We are here to work together, to learn together, and to be the best that we can be. That's our job, no matter what. And someone always asks me, Mr. D, oh, not someone, lots of someones, always ask me, Mr. D, what is your job? Well, I'm going to tell you. Are you ready? Here is my job. My job is to keep you safe, to protect you, to make sure that school is a place that you want to be, and that you get a chance to learn everything that you need to know. My job is to care about you. My job is to love you. And all those important things that I get to do. That's my job. And I will still do my job no matter what. And I want to make sure we do one more thing. I know it's kind of long today. But help me out. Are you listening? All of you? Yeah, even you? Yeah, you? Okay. Here's what I want you to do. Repeat after me. Ready? I am important. I matter. Now I'll point to somebody else. Don't have to scream this, just say it. You are important. You matter. Because no matter what today, everybody at Red Arrow School, everybody in Hartford matters. So make sure, if you see someone else who needs to hear that, maybe at home or at the store, I'm giving you permission to tell them that they matter. Good job. I know you guys will handle that well. And let's go ahead and have a brief political moment. And go. Pete the Cat is awesome and tempt. Pete the Cat is awesome because he acts like an upstanding person. Pete the Cat should be president because he does awesome things like music. Pete the Cat should be president because he is silly. Mrs. Babb, was it Splat the Cat that toilet papered your yard on Halloween? You know, I think it might have been. I saw the four prints in the yard walking around, so I'm pretty sure it could have been Splat the Cat. That's what I thought. I think it was. Don't vote for Splat the Cat. No. Splat, you can't be president because you, 
You are way too clumsy. You fell down the stairs at the prison of on the house. <laughs> you can't be uh, you can't be president because you talk say the words wrong and you sing the words wrong and you play around too much. But they can't. You can't be present because you always fall in the bathroom and that's disgusting. Splat! You can't be present because you don't turn in your library books. For president! Be 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 for president! The most interesting man in the world. Action. Good morning. I normally don't read books about cats. But when I do, I love reading Splats the Cat. It is very interesting, especially when you get into the story about Splat the Cat. This commercial was paid for by the Super PAC for Splat the Cat. Please vote Splat the Cat for president. Thank you. Um, I'm hoping you're still keeping track of, of who you voted for, who you want to vote for in the big race for president of the library. Um, a couple more days still of campaigning going on. And at this time... Would you please stand for the pledge? From Mrs. Thiefault's class to help us with the pledge, we have... Mason Sharp. Lorraine Penikowski. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job, and everyone have a great day, learners.